Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We today are going to be fiddling with the Beetle GR3. Okay, welcome back to the channel. We're going to get stuck into uh, beasting the settings on the uh, Beetle GR3, which in my opinion was one of the best GR3 cars that was in the game when it first came out. And they fiddled with it so much now that it's just very, very mediocre. So I'm going to try and take the uh, mediocre basic settings and we are going to try and make it quicker. So you can stick it on and then get in the lobbies and smash your mates or whoever else you think needs smashing. Uh, so let's get busy with that. Okay, so let's pick the beetle. Manual, of course. And we'll uh, skip this little bit of a loading screen. And I'll just slap on the super softs as always. Show you the stock settings. As you can see, all stock. Let's get going. So we'll get on with the uh, doing some 10 laps of this sucker. Now, as you will be aware, that I always replay the fastest lap of the 10, which happens to be the second um, lap of the 10. And it was um, it was quite a lap, to be fair. And it turns out that this particular Beetle is quicker than the Mercedes AMG that we've done in stock form, and once the settings are applied. So as you can see, it's doing the same as all the cars that with the basic setup. Is once you've hit the curbs, the suspension is just far too stiff and it unsettles the car. Once you unsettle the car, you're gonna lose time because you've gotta come off the throttle, you've gotta steady the car, so it's back down to being, you know, solid. And then you can plant your foot down again. And the telltale one is obviously the chicane of death because it gets absolutely shook to its bones through these little chicane bits. And on the exit one, and in order to get through there really quickly, the car's got to be as unsettled as possible. So that's what we've got to do. So we're going to do more of the same thing in terms of softening it up. Um, and I'm going to try and get the car to rotate a little better because it's understeering a bit too much at the minute. So let's see what the lap was. Right, it was a 34.311. Not bad. Pretty good. So now we've applied the settings, which we will show you after this lap. And you can already see that the third lap we did was a 33.667, which is a massive difference um, in time. Um, obviously, some cars will make major gains over others. Um, it's just how they set up. Um, the setup for this one is obviously, you know, it's night and day. Um, but you'll see, I mean, it's a bit scrappy at the beginning here, but still very controllable. But you'll see as we go over the curbs that the car's just not lifting off the floor as much. It's absorbing the bumps and the curbs and keeping what tyres it has on the tarmac on the tarmac. It's not getting lifted with the outside tyres. So let's come down to here. You see, we can use a bit more of that kerb, which is always a good thing. Shuts a lot of time down on that one. And obviously as we come through the chicane of death, we're already three tenths up and we should be able to throw through here. Look, the car stays pretty stable throughout the whole launch through that. And that's, you know, a massive gain in time now. And on to the final corner. And then gun it for the straight, for the final stretch to the finish line. And this will be a very good time. Oh, a 33.360. So, massive gains there. I think you could agree. So let's uh, have a quick look at the settings. And we've altered um, natural frequency front and back. We've anti-roll bar front and back. Um, compression front and back. Rebound front and back. And front camber only. And then we've added the downforce. 
to absolutely full on the front and left the rear as stock because we want it to rotate a bit better. So there's the settings, so give it a pause and uh, or take a screenshot or whatever with your phone and go and apply them to your car. Okay, as you can see, we made a big difference. So there you go, uh, the GR3 Beetle is now ready for war on the tracks of your choosing. So until next time, I will bid you good day. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and hit the likey button uh, because it costs you nothing just to clickety click, but it makes the world of difference to me and the channel. So on that note, I'm gonna get gone. That's all me begging done. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.